Hey everybody, it's Andrew and I'm back again with another video. Today we have a very special unboxing. Today we're going to unbox the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360. Yes, we finally got it into the studio. Now, I just want to let everybody know that I'm not being paid by Samsung. I'm not being sponsored by Samsung. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Samsung is not getting copy approval. That means they're seeing this video for the first time, just like you are. And Samsung did not provide me a review unit, despite the fact that I did get an invite to San Francisco to the Galaxy Unpacked event about two weeks ago. So they are not providing this review unit. I did buy this with my own money. So if you want to help out the channel, if you want to buy one of these, check out the link in the description below. That certainly helps out the channel. Now, with that out of the way, let's set this up. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did get to San Francisco and I did get a first look at this device. And one of the things that I wanted to see from difference from last year and improvement is the fact that they did go with the 16 to 10 aspect ratio, a very welcome change indeed. They now have a 16 inch display. They bumped up the resolution from full HD to a 3K display. We now have it at 2880 by 1800. So a lot of improvements here. You can get it in two different colors, beige and what I have here today, graphite. Now, for those wondering, whether I'm going to review the non-360 or non-convertible. Yes, that is true. I will be reviewing it. I expect to get my unit that I pre-ordered next week, and that will be coming here to the studio. It's the 14-inch beige color, so we'll get a chance to see a different color, and that is coming as well. And of course, I will be reviewing the brand new Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra that I got a chance to look at. My unit that I pre-ordered will be coming next week as well. So we got a lot of stuff ahead on the channel here, so make sure you are subscribed to this channel. So with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Now with the plastic off, let's see the boxing here. So it says Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360, and it says Galaxy Book right here. Let's lift the lid. And of course, we're gonna get the unit. We'll put this to the side. Definitely feels a little bit more heavy than last year's model, that's for sure. And here you can see we get some documentation. Let's put this to the side. You get your USB-C charging cable. It's white, okay? You get your S Pen. We'll get into the S Pen in a little bit. And you get your super fast charging adapter. So that it will complete what you get in the box. And here you get the unit itself. And this is the graphite model, and you can see it here. Very nice in terms of the build. This is definitely an improvement over last year's model. You get some branding there, Samsung branding. You definitely can see some fingerprints already, so we'll see. Very thin, very light, as you can see here. So that is something that I'm really liking, the build quality. But with this aluminum build quality here, instead of the magnesium, you're definitely going to have some more heft to this, that's for sure. And here you can see the front of the unit. There's a lip to help you open it up. And then, of course, you're going to see what's on the sides there. Uh, pretty nice in terms of the build. And I'm really liking this uh, build quality. It's looking really good. So as far as the S Pen, this will attach magnetically to this unit here. That's good. And again, no silo or anything for that. All right, let's see if we can open this up with one finger. And that is pretty gorgeous so far. Really nice keyboard. This is very, very MacBook-esque in terms of the build. Look at this super spacious touchpad here. This is a pretty, pretty massive. It's pretty spacious. Now, let's go over the ports. But before we do that, notice the numpad there. Fingerprint scanner is over there. The power button doubles as that fingerprint scanner. And, and of course... Uh, let's take a look at some of these ports here. So on the left, you get an HDMI port and you get two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. They're located right there. And on the right side, you get a micro SD card reader, full-size USB-A port, and a 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack. That's actually a pretty good port selection. That is a definite improvement over last year's Galaxy Book 2 
Pro 360. So that's been pretty good so far. Now, of course, this being a two-in-one convertible means you can put it into the different modes. You got the tent mode right here. So this will definitely uh, be good for recipes in the kitchen, consuming media. And then, of course, the same could be said for the stand mode or what I like to call presentation mode. As you can notice, the 16-inch display is very glossy. And then, of course, you could always put it into the tablet mode. Great for use with the S Pen. And, of course, I'm left-handed, but as you can see here, this will be good in that mode. But the build quality is rock solid on this. Now, of course, with this gain in weight, you are getting a little bit more durability. You'll definitely get a more solid, more premium build, though this is something that I wanted to see. Definitely an improvement over last year, that's for sure. Now, looking at the keyboard, I can tell you right away that the key travel is definitely on the shallow side, but this has been a hallmark of these in terms of the key travel as far as the previous iterations. And this is what it sounds like when you type. And you get the numpad right there. Now, while this is gonna boot up, I wanna show you the S Pen. And as you can see, the S Pen is here. And of course, this is gonna give you the ability to take notes, sketch out diagrams, artwork and so forth okay let's boot this up for the first time and as you can see it's a pretty glossy display that's for sure okay we're setting this up i'm going to add in my network here now it's asking me to accept the license agreement for the software now it's asking me to sign into my microsoft account i'll do that and i'll be right back now it's asking me if i want to set up the fingerprint scanner remember this does not have an ir camera the only way to log in with Windows Hello as far as biometrics will be through the fingerprint reader. So I'm going to uh, say yes, set it up. Okay, that's set up. Now I have to add a pin. And now that I've just added the pin, that sets up all the biometrics I need for Windows Hello. And again, it would have been nice to have a Windows Hello camera on here. So let's just accept all this crap and then let's keep moving it on along here. We're going to skip that customization setting there. And we can use your Android phone from the PC, but I'm gonna skip this because I'm going to be using the Samsung Galaxy S23 or even my 22 Ultra. Both, I have the 23 Ultra and I have the 22 Ultra. We'll see which one I'll use. And I'm gonna decline the Microsoft 360 as far as the, win, uh, the office. Let's decline that. And let's just get it up and running here. And the hinges so far looking pretty good. Not too much wobble, although you will see some. And then on the back of the unit, you can see here the hinges right here. So actually pretty nice so far. I, I'm very, very impressed. This is a big upgrade in terms of the build over last year. That's for sure. Okay, let's talk about the display. And one of my biggest gripe last year was the fact that you only got a full HD resolution, 1920 by 1080. Whether you got the 13.3 inch device or whether you got the bigger 15.6, you are limited to a full HD resolution. And on top of that, it retained a 16 to nine aspect ratio, which as you know, is outdated here in 2023, as it was last year, 2022. One of the last brands to hold out as far as going to a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. Well, that's no longer the case, at least with the Pro line here this year, they moved to a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, a higher resolution 3K display, that's 2880 by 1800. And they also bumped up the brightness to over 400 nits. I actually measured above that. So what I'm seeing is an absolutely gorgeous display. And the fact that they now go with a dynamic refresh rate, it's up to 120 hertz, is even better. So you're going to get the smooth scrolling, the really fluid experience. And that's what the dynamic AMOLED 2X display brings to the table. I think the display this year is a major improvement over last year's displays. And this, without a doubt, is one of the biggest things I wanted to see, and they came through here in 2023. Now, having said that, there are some things that I'm not crazy about initially here, and that's the fact that we're seeing a very glossy display, very reflective. It's not a matte display, that's for sure. So if you're depending on your lighting conditions, you're going to get a lot of glare and reflections. It just can't be helped here. That is a negative here to what is a pretty much overall improved display here for 2023. Now, one thing you're gonna notice here is this uh, the, a taskbar on the bottom here, 
and this is the second screen. So if you have one of the Samsung tablets, you can use the second screen. You get quick share, that'll help set, I will set that up in the review, but that's gonna allow you to share between your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra or whatever Samsung device you might have, much like you can with the iPhone, with the AirDrop, I believe this is gonna work the same way. Then you get the Galaxy Book Experience, we'll see what that is, and then of course you know the rest on there. So pretty interesting stuff so far, and this is looking good. I'm very impressed with the the overall unboxing experience has been great. Now, some people are going to think this uh, numpad here is a little too narrow to get work done. Some people don't like it because it moves the touchpad off center a bit here, as you can see. Again, not a big deal for me. You'll definitely get used to it after a couple hours, so not a big deal. Now, the sticker placement here, you got Evo branding here. Now, this is the Core i7-1360p. This has the dynamic AMOLED 2X display, and it also is energy certified, as you see by that sticker. So, of course, you know they like to put those stickers on this, and that is exactly what we're getting Getting here. Now this is going to have a 1080p camera. Let's take a look at it real quick. So this is the camera on the brand new Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360. It's a 1080p camera and it is a pretty nice camera at that. You're looking at 1080p video, of course, and it has a really good video quality. What do you think about the audio quality? Now there are some extra features on this. You get the face effects, you get the background blur effect, you get the, you could change the color of the background. There's auto framing, there's the HDR effect, of course, and there's also eye contact. These are all the things that we've been seeing on other brands as well. So finally, Samsung is bringing that to their camera. This is not an IR camera, so you cannot log in with face recognition with Windows Hello, but you can use your finger in terms of the fingerprint scanner. That power do button doubles as a fingerprint scanner. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about the video quality? What do you think about the audio quality of these array mics? I am curious to know. So as far as performance, so far it's actually looking pretty good. I like this 13th gen Intel Core i7 1360p. That's a 20 watt CPU, as I mentioned. It also has 12 cores, eight efficiency cores, and four performance cores. And as you can see from these initial benchmarks that I was able to run, the numbers are looking really good. Now, I've been, this is the first time I'm using the Geekbench 6 benchmark here, and the numbers are looking good, over 10,000 on the multi-core score over 2200 on the single core so i'm looking pretty good so far again this is the first instance where i'm using geekbench 6 as opposed to geekbench 5 as of the other benchmarks that i was able to run with my initial test here so far so if you do things such as microsoft office email web browsing it all will work fine you're not going to have any hiccups on this it really is looking good so far now as far as the fan noise not too loud so far as you can see here of course i still need to do further testing i did put it into the performance mode and i didn't see it get overly loud it definitely is noticeable in terms of the fan noise but it didn't get overly loud so far that's looking good now as far as the surface temperatures same situation remain relatively cool never too hot to the touch as i've been doing some early benchmarking on this it stayed relatively cool so it's been looking good in terms of the thermals but of course we'll see the full results of that in my full review so stay tuned that will be coming very soon now if you're looking to play AAA titles on their highest settings well i don't think that's in the cards because again this is utilizing integrated iris xe graphics and as i mentioned many times before on this channel the xe graphics are getting long in the tooth i'd like to see an upgrade in that department but having said that you can get some playable frame rates if you lower some of the si settings you'll definitely will be able to play certain games older games for certain but again if you want to play AAA titles on their highest settings the only way I think you're going to do that is if you add an external GPU, which is a possibility, of course, thanks to the two Thunderbolt 4 ports that this has. Okay, let's open this up. Let's see if we can see what's upgradable here. Let's get right to business. So we're going to have to remove these feet first. So let me take out my tool here. So let's see if this can... I think these feet come right off. Yep, they pop right off. Okay, let's uh, get the Phillips head screw here. And just like that, comes off. Yep, 
there you go. So that's off. Let's put that to the side. And here we go. So this is the internals of this laptop. And as you can see, there is soldered Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3 combo. Here's your SSD. The RAM is soldered in. There are two fans on this. And here's your 76 watt hour battery. And then of course, the only thing that is user upgradable is going to be this uh, SSD. And here you can see it more clearly. There you go. And you can get a good look at it right there. So pretty nice, clean looking in terms of what's internally here. Now, once I connected it to my Galaxy S22 Ultra, you can then connect it to this laptop. Of course, sending files will be a lot easier. So with the quick set, quick share set up, let's go to the Samsung experience here. You can do quick share, you can get your Samsung account, you can get live wallpaper, Samsung Pass, Samsung Gallery, Samsung Studio Plus, Smart Things, Samsung Notes. So definitely uh, very cohesive continuity between all of the different Samsung Galaxy devices. So it'll definitely be uh, very good in terms of that, in terms of sharing. That's gonna be very MacBook-like, Apple-like in those ecosystem, or in that ecosystem, I should say. And you have something very similar if you have a Samsung device. So stay tuned, I will have a full review of this laptop coming up very soon. I will have the 14 inch Pro version, the clamshell coming next week, the Galaxy Book 3 Pro. And I also have the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra coming that has a discrete GPU. I'm excited about that one as well. But I will be putting this one through its paces to see how it will perform in everyday use under heavy load. And of course, to see how the battery life is and everything else associated with this convertible laptop. So stay tuned that will be coming very soon but my initial takeaway is i am very impressed with this 13th gen intel core i7 1360p processor i would like to see something a little bit better than the iris xe graphics we don't get that and i'm really impressed with the overall build quality a definite step up over last year's build and this is rock solid here for 2023 stay tuned that full review will be coming very soon so please hit the like button please subscribe please share this video don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below let me know how i'm doing let me know if there's a device or something out there you think i should review i'll do my best to try to make that happen don't forget to check me out on facebook twitter instagram and of course my website amdtechreviews.com so until next time this is andrew from amd tech see ya